a mass of yellow steel and beautiful, be blue, beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was, so the fools put it on display for all to see. But I, I could tell that this crude device held the secrets, secrets that could be mine. And scene. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> snaps. Snaps. Oh, yes. <laughs> Poetic. Hey, guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today is the day as I record this, but as it's being uploaded, yesterday is the day. Uh, it's going to take us a little bit of time to assemble this all together, to upload it onto YouTube.com. But it is Tuesday as I record this, which means it is the day that Bendy and the Dark Revival has finally hit our Steam inbox? Steam library? Uh, general collection of, of video games? I don't know. What, what's the appropriate terminology here, Ash? It's a library. The a hit has it hit our Steam Lab? Entered into? Have we checked it out of the library? Indeed, I have. We have talked to the friendly librarians and said, "One Bendy and the Ink Machine sequel, please." And they have said, "Here you go, sir." They said, "Would you like to create a desktop shortcut?" And I a said, "Yes." And we said, "Yes, absolutely." Mm -hmm. Would you like to launch on on start of your computer? And we said, "No, thank you. That's that's quite all right. That seems like a bit of overkill." Um, so. That's it. This is a game that I think has been, what, five years in the making? Bendy and the Ink Machine closed its doors. Joey Drew Studios closed its doors five years ago. And now it's time to presumably open them back up again. Uh, and so that's that's what we have going on here today, friends. I don't think you need much more of a uh, like an intro than that. Let's just hop into it, right? New game! This is probably, you know, everyone's talking about Sonic Frontiers. Everyone's talking about God of War Ragnarok. I want to say Thor Ragnarok, but no, God of War Ragnarok. But uh, not nah, screw that. We're talking about Bendy and the Ink Machine, which is not loading as I pull it up on the computer. So it's thinking about it's thinking about loading as I pull it up on the computer. Really thinking about. It. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Joey Drew Studios! Oh wow. This is, wow, already there's a graphical upgrade. This is nice. That's a good logo right there. Solid logo game. Uh, okay, photo sensitivity. Are you good, Ash? I'm magnificent. Great, are you good? Viewer at home? I'm gonna assume that you also are magnificent, which leads us to Bendy and the Dark Revival. Ooh, who's this? Nice water effect, this is cool. I'm digging this. Is this Bendy? Like, evil ink demon Bendy? I cannot tell. It's cool. It's mysterious. Maybe it's a fusion of different characters, because that looks a little bit like a Bendy smile. I am stoked about this. I am stoked and also cautiously optimistic, so let's hop into it, shall we? New game! Oh, wait, let me make sure that everything is subtitled on. There we go. New game! Did, did you turn it on or did you turn it off? You know, it's a great question. I guess that's on. <laughs> Normally it would be like a check mark. <laughs> I guess it's on by default. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. Good yep. catch. New game! <laughs> Third time's a charm. Uh, easy if you're new to the studio. Normal if you visit the studio before. Hard if you have mastered the studio. I don't think I've mastered anything in my life, so we're gonna just go normal. No, no need to kill myself for this one. <laughs> I mean, who knows? They, they might have upgraded the combat, but I am very good at smacking and running away. Smacking and running away. Smacking and running away. Joey Drew Studio. We're always oh. free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been, and the things you've done. Your past will come. To devour you. Hmm. So we have uh, some, some regrets or some bad actions in our past that are coming back to haunt us. Interesting. That seemed like a flash forward. Like this is present day and it seems like now we're going to rewind back. That's just my prediction. June 18th, 1973. Also worth noting, the electrical outlet, they're 
not American standard. They're probably not anything. They, they look kind of made up, but I'm just throwing them out there. Employee of the month. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. <sighs> Hand animation. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Okay. What do we got going on here? So, Audrey the animator. We got our like character um, model sheet here, so to make sure that everyone is standardized, so that way you have brand consistency. That's cool. We got some frames. What you working on down here? Can't really tell. Like Bendy gets tossed into the garbage, tumbles around. Huh, okay. Can't really hey, make it out. Yeah. The hand is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> does that does the hand bother you? Yes. <laughs> Why does the hand bother you? Why does it move like that? <laughs> but she's she's being impatient. She's she's thinking. But like the fingers aren't moving. It's like a wave with like all the phalanges like <laughs> moving on like a you know like that like the sign graph. It's it's, it's like a cosine. It's, it's like a little it's rubber doing, hand. Yeah, but like wrong. Also, good usage of the word phalanges. Thank you. Like, impressive. Well, way to know our finger bones. Um, I think it's interesting calling out here, and I, I believe I called this out in our uh, reaction to the trailer of this, but she has the final image, the final cell of Bendy and the Ink Machine. So at the very end of Bendy and the Ink Machine, you get this shot of Bendy, and, uh, Alice, and Boris walking together, signed, I believe, by Henry Stein, saying, like, good luck, buddy, or congratulations, uh, sent to Joy Drew. So it's interesting that she has this in her possession. See, I like that you're freaked out about the phalanges flapping around, whereas me, I'm a little bit concerned about the ink buildup in, in her, like, cuticle area. You know, like, I understand why your hand would be very inky after working, drawing things for a, an extended period of time, but why in the cuticle? Like, why around the nail? Oh my gosh! Her finger on the, on the pen bends like mine does. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, that is a weird way of holding a pen, isn't it? Ba -da -ba -ba. Do that. Good job. <laughs> Do you feel seen, Ash? I feel s this is the representation I've always wanted. Speaking of bendy, bendy Bro. fingers. <laughs> hey, let's start the game, shall we? Locate the elevator. Okay, she's got good taste in donuts with a chocolate sprinkle. Uh, what's your to-do list say? Can't really tell. Where's the lore? Some bendy, some like modern art bendy. Oh, hello. Hey. We've got mirrors that work in this game already. Huge upgrades happening. Nothing over there. Like I said, we've got the, um, yeah, the congratulations on your success, your buddy Henry Stein. So that's very interesting to be ending with. We're going to have that. All right. Archgate Pictures. Oh, yeah. So we did talk about this briefly. Uh, I remember that at one point Archgate was mentioned as the studio that was going to do... Um, the Bendy like movie and then in the trailer we saw that they're doing a documentary on Bendy and Joey Drew and so and I, I believe ownership of the character transferred over to Archgate at some point somewhere in the lore uh oh it was a dark and stormy night did the ink blood just appear out of nowhere was it always there? Hmm. Suspicious. Okay. This is Nathan Arch. Okay, so this is the head of Arch Studios. Oh, man. Looks like it's looking kind of messed up in here now. Spooky alarm. What do we got? Dear Diary, I'm working at my favorite animation job. It's great, but it's dark, and they are keeping me way too late for this. I am not getting paid enough overtime to fulfill this crunch time. Just goes to show, crunch time, even in the early days of animation. That's a. I hope we get this weapon, or maybe this is an enemy we can get chased by, is, is some sort of, like, little spring trap. Oh! Pathetic fallacy. It represents my emotions inside. What else we got going on? Another cartoon. I'm sure that's going to be important. Archgate, what do we got here? We got the Butcher Boys model. Oh, it's 316, so maybe that's like a date that might come in handy at some point. Uncle Sal's. 
Uncle Sal's Pizza, not gonna let you down. And then we've got calendar again. Might be relevant at some point for a theory in the future. They locked me in. <laughs> Good like, thing I brought my own key today. Finish your animation, Audrey. Can I run? Can I jump? Can I sprint? None of us. <laughs> Bendy the Dizzy. here. Aw, oh, he's back. Hey, Cardboard Bendy. High five, bud. Good to see you again. This looks great, by the way. Um, graphically. I'm really digging this. This is really nice. I have a random question, and yes. I feel like you are one of the only people Here's who can answer this question. Yes. Um, the cutout of Bendy. Yeah. Do you think that's, like, to scale? Do you think Bendy's actually that tall? Like, how tall is Bendy? Yeah, I think, I think that's to scale. I think that's actually him. Okay. I, I believe so. Good? Because he is very cute. Oh, he's, he's, he's <laughs> a delightful little boy. Oh, and by the way, it's gone now! You've pulled this on me a couple times, game. I, I see you. Little cardboard cutout jump scare. You ain't gonna get me this time. But yeah, no, I, I believe that is the accurate to life size of Bendy. And Boris must be like real tall. Boris is a tall boy. I yeah. mean, not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. <laughs> Have you not been here before? Why are you commenting on that? You work here. Presumably you're, you're like you you commented on this door a minute ago being like being like, oh, they locked me into this room. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, spookies. But then for her to be like, oh no, it's not a welcoming hallway. Dear diary. My work is underappreciated. Animators are not getting paid enough in in this industry. Man, can you imagine just redrawing like the same thing over and over again, just moving like a, a pixel or two at a time. Um, I, I guess it wasn't like pixels because it was more like right. No, it flip was books, but Yeah, it was the hand drawn yeah. animation stuff, like cell by cell. That's I used to crazy. do that. Crazy. Well, not like the to the extent that they did, but like you used to do that. Yeah. No way. I wanted to be an animator. Oh <gasps> no way! So this is so this this is hashtag relatable for you. This is hashtag so true. This was like hashtag life goals. <laughs> I kind of was. You are Audrey. Ooh, and you know what? Audrey starts with an A. Audrey. Wilson. W Mr. Wilson. This isn't Is alarming at all. That? I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. Oh, this is this bodes well. Pretty girl like. Okay, you. let's not comment on my look. You shouldn't be wandering around. <laughs> This is, a, this is a safe space for Mind all workers I here. Step in. Uh, uh, of course not. It's hard pass. You. Sorry. Get, Audrey, this one's full. You look like you could use a little company. All right. This no. This is not a. This is not a safe working environment right here. <laughs> this is the scariest thing in the game. In a post-COVID world, someone coughing nice at you <laughs> in an enclosed Just area. Beautiful. Oh, the virus. Gorgeous. Oh! What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. This doesn't bode well. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. I'm good. Just uh, I'll just, I'll just hang Let's out here. See what we can find. The, the emergency staircase. Old Wilson will protect you. <laughs> no thanks, Old Wilson. I'll. I'm 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 good. Thank you. Do you, you think know. he might be? I don't know, an antagonist? What? No! You don't think the, like, bleeding, missing eye and deep, raspy voice is, is pointing you in a certain direction? Maybe they're subverting our expectations, and they're like, antagonist, antagonist! But in actuality, he's the good guy the whole time. Mm. That's a game theory waiting. I don't know, anyone who walks into the elevator being like, You're a pretty little girl, aren't you? Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's sending off a couple of red flags. Let's be honest. Not, a, not the mo safest, most uh, friendly work environment for people of all, all ages and genders. Great. Ah, uh, there we are. 
Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. Good. It will be perfectly safe. See, when you do a dramatic pause before the word safe, it makes me seriously doubt what you're saying. You know, the sinister dramatic pause. Send in, send in not the, the opposite vibes than what you're trying to communicate. Archgate Pictures presents Joy Drew and the, the Man and the Demon. Great. Alice Angel, sent from above. We've seen that. Joy Drew, uh, so he died at 70. Joy Drew was the founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. In 1929, with the help of his business partner, Henry Stein, he created Bendy's first short, Little Devil Darlin, as an early talky cartoon. As his entertainment legacy grew over the years, Joey's optimism and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with just a pencil and a dream, he created his studio here at this studio. Here at Archgate Pictures, we strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on. Dreams come true. Great. I love the fact that, you know, every protagonist in indie horror games from this period was named Henry. <laughs> it's like, who's, stop taking pictures of me. I'm trying to work. Leave me alone, man. I love that the background looks so realistic, like photorealistic, and then he's just, like, mannequin style. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, Illusion of Living. Classic. Joey's book. Ooh. Deeply meaningful. I wonder what that's... It's an interesting inclusion in, in a room that's clearly full of memorabilia from the series. I wonder what that means. Tickets from the uh, from their arcade or fair. Pictures of the animators. That's cool. Oh, he's just, just <laughs> for a second there. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's that ghostly figure? Oh no, that's just the creepy janitor. I'm totally safe. Uh, the bendy sing along. What else we got? A little banjo. That's uh, what Boris's banjo. What's this? Silly Vision! Silly Vision is a cartoon format developed by Joey Drew that allowed for animated cartoons to be completed more efficiently by streamlining the pencil and inking stages and allowing for last minute adjustments to be made directly onto the film stock itself. The film was chemically coated to allow for a specially formulated ink to be applied by the artist working on a magnifying table. This allowed for adjustments, action enhancements, or even whole new characters to be added after the cartoon had been photographed. Mr. Drew intended the format to be used Someday to create interactive experiences where the cartoons could be custom altered to fit the occasion or the audience. Ooh, hello. Bendy goes bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to... They wanted to put it on display, but not too much in focus. Ooh, hello. Ooh, this... This is nice and hidden. This feels like it'll be important at some point. I can't really make it out right now, but I'll have to brighten it up in post to see what's going on. Because that is intriguing. Hey, bud! Ah, I see that I did not scare you away with my wildly harassing, my mildly harassing uh, phrases earlier. It's fine. Oh, hey. Oh, I recognize this. Welcome to chapter one of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. <laughs> there should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey, sweet. Oh, See, you don't, you don't have to qualify me with the word sweet. Do an old man a favor yeah. and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Over here. I will I will tend to the switch. Okay. Great, got a wrench. Da 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 See Sweet Audrey. Yeah, you don't you don't have you don't have to say that, man. All right. Okay, so let's see. What is it? It's wrench, record, ink well, book, a stuffed animal, and something else. There's stuffed animal. What's the last one? Uh, each each of the... Oh, that's cute. That's I need, cute like, image. ten of those. Right? I will take all of those, please. <laughs> uh, oh, the book. Was, yeah, the book was one. Illusion of Living by Joy Drew. I remember that. Great. Ink well. Here it is. What is it? Uh, it each, oh, oh, cog. It's like a like a machine cog or something like that. I'm assuming it's all out here. Music, cog. There's cog. <laughs> Someone's been messing with the exhibits and putting them as in, as important uh, technology to help the actual running of this studio. It's fine. Don't mind me. I need this for an exhibit. Um, who did I miss? I feel like I missed one. 
book. Got wrench. We got cog. <laughs> Great. This is totally part of the exhibit. This is exactly how they imagined it. Oh, I guess we got them all. Ink. Music. Sammy Lawrence. And Bendy. This is where I turn into an ink demon, right? This guy's gonna, like, transform me or something, isn't he? Hey, bud! Hey, Mr. Wilson. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. Nah. Oh, I didn't even notice this. It's the ink machine back here. So, okay, we are, like, actively summoning this or, like, completing the ritual to turn it on. Can I, can I pass? I don't think I can pass. This is bad news. It is done. Wilson? <laughs> Oh no! The ink is calling us, my dear. Oh, this, this is how you get geeks. Don't fret. We're going home. Huh? Stay back. I'm going home. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words, because very soon. Get hey, hey, bad touch. Let Not okay. Go. Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. Huh. I'll show you the truth. Hmm. This can't be real. And now, All right. we die. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> See, this is what you get for staying late trying to do your job. No. Oh! <laughs> oh man. That was a good intro. That was good. Legitimately very unsettling. Oh no. But that does a couple interesting things, right? So one, it seems to tell us that we are new versions of old characters. When he's like, yeah, well, we have to go back. Or, oh, you know, we have to return. It seems like we are iterations of characters that have already existed within the Joey Drew Studios, like, ink machine world, I guess. Um, it also confirms our theory from before, from uh, towards the end of, of the game's run, where we're like, oh, it seems like all of, this is a repeated cycle of purgatory, that, that Joey Drew Studios itself is representative of, like, death or purgatory, right? And that the fact that there's been repeated cycles going through the studio over and over again, Cool. What's job. wrong with my hands? Covered in me. <laughs> What's wrong with my hands? See, Ash was asking the exact same thing at the very oh, beginning Audrey. of this video. What's, What's wrong with my phalanges? Why are my phalanges like this? Welcome home. Hmm. So it does. It seems like we are returning home in some way. Uh, but again, what Wilson just said seems to confirm that we're like going, that, that the studio and this whole process is death or purgatory in some way and that we have to atone or, you know, complete some mission here. Hello. Can I go into this? Just curious. A little bit. Sounds like I can hear someone. Wilson, the man who killed the ink demon. Well, Wilson's been busy. Wilson knows your purpose. I mean, that is what he told me on his way out. Is he going to be Joey Drew? Is that, is that what's going on here? Let's see. Studio Memo. Uh, every great story begins in mystery. Yeah, it's a theory. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Don't be afraid of who you are. If you're only what you may become, could be a renegade. Bacon soup. Grant Cohen, accounting. He was he was in the first game, uh, in an audio log, I believe. He was the financing guy. 
Please inform Mr. Drew that despite his insistence that the rumors of Joy Drew Studios going bankrupt are untrue, I want to remind him that in his stu if his studio does indeed fail, all equipment and experiments produced through our partnership by contract belong to the Gent Corporation. We will reclaim these assets forcibly if necessary. Ellen Gray. I think that's a new character. Huh, okay. And we did kind of end things. Ooh, hello. Pipes? Got ourselves a weapon. The old jet pipe. I love how slowly she considers everything. Like, ah, oh, yes, I see. Hmm. What's down here? Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, the illusion of living. So it's Joey's book again. In the pipe? Huh. Suspicious. So someone's crying. And Joey Drew's book is in this random broken pipe for some reason. Got it. There you go. <laughs> Although, technically, I think you could have climbed the ladder without that rung. Just, just say it. I believe in you, Audrey. Ah, my sweet girl. Let me teach you how to climb a ladder. Hello, music box. Yep, very, very thorough investigation. <laughs> Alice. So again, I feel like if this is some sort of like return to the studio or kind of like, again, uh, like a reincarnation sort of thing, are we a version or another iteration of Alice Angel? Because we know that there are two versions of pretty much every character in this franchise at this point. Um, so it's interesting to think that maybe Audrey here is yet another Alice. Uh, geez, you think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a little bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons. This place used to make. Oh well, times change. Life moves on. Telly Wester, personal memo. Okay. Telly. I think she's new. Ooh. What is this? Is that an ink blob? Is that just old blob ink? See you, Crouch. Great. Huh. Cool. I mean. Wilson, your friend, Wilson. your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. What a weirdly specific detail. Joey, oh, Sammy. This is from Sammy Lawrence, so the music guy from the original game, uh, also who became, like, the lead cultist. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation. We've been with you for many years, and we feel we've contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy. Sammy, personal favorite. Let me open this. We can. Gent parts. Crafting supplies? Am I gonna have to craft in this game? No, no crafting. Come on. Okay. The ink linker. Inker. Cool. Nice, nice. Slowing me down there. Excellent. I mean, definite. I was saying this before the audio interrupted me, but like, there is a definite graphical upgrade here. Uh, it looks really nice. It moves really beautifully. If, if a little bit slow as I slowly plot up this flowing well of ink. Hello. There's a lot of ink everywhere. Okay, here we go. The ink drips. Darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close. So very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. 
Mm. All right. I like that that's listed as a memo. Like, memo to the company. <laughs> Your flesh will be mine. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Love, Bendy the Ink Demon. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hello. Anything there? Nope. Anything there? More parts. Interesting. Did I get, did I get shorter? It feels... Oh, hello. Jump scare! It feels like I got... Oh, I did get shorter. It was because I was crouching. See? Yep. <laughs> While I went through the ink, it made me slow. <laughs> I thought I'd uncrouched. I'm like, this is so weird. Why am I suddenly so slow and low? <laughs> oh, I just really... I was worried about things sneaking up on me. There you go. <laughs> I'm a professional gamer. Uh, ooh, batteries. And what's this? Baseball. By Bud Lewis. Hmm. Okay. Memories. So that's a memory. Story to the pause menu. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. Mm. Well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? I will buy them and then and then use their IP to make a lot of soulless cash grabs. That's the animated way. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a hide. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna. I remember we had hiding spots in the last one too. Search. Nothing interesting. Okay. Security override. Nah. Fire that puppy up. We're good. Left shift to run. How's my stamina? Hey, was that Boris? Boris. Can I catch you? Ooh. Whoa. Oh, that made me faster. Like the ink. Almost like. I felt like he had superpowers. Nothing there. Nothing there. He went down through here. Nothing there. Great. Making good progress here. Oh, that's a stamina bar. Anything on this side? Nope, just a random alcove. Totally fine. Alright. Beep! Heavenly Toys. Again, this was, I believe, similar to what, chapter four? Even down to the, the little miracle station being down in the corner. I think I think it was chapter four where we went to the toy store. Three or four. Oh, it might have been three because it was Alice Angels. Uh, Sean Flynn, that was Jack Septicai in the original game. Uh, as the winds are changing around here, I'm asking my, myself, Sean, what are you doing? Uh, I, I'm, I'm a little bit bummed that they don't have uh, voice acting, I will say. I, I thought that added a lot, so I guess I gotta try on the voices, maybe. There's a whole war- I can't do it. <laughs> Never mind! I'm not doing Jacksepticeye. No one wants that. No! Sean, I am so sorry. Yeah, Sean, right, I know. I can't. I can't. <laughs> uh, there's a whole world out there. Places to see. A family to spend my day- He's a, a family to spend my days with! <laughs> This here job is just a job. I'll have others like it. No worry there. But the important thing is we should remember to live. I think it's time I did just that. Good for you, Sean. Flynn. Also Jacksepticeye, but... There you go. Jumbo thing there. Hmm. Oh, hello. Battery. We're gonna have to craft, aren't we? That makes it's gonna make me sad. What do we got back here? Trash can. Nothing. Light switch. Nice slow burn at the game here. Oh! Darn it. See? That's why you don't go around just randomly switching things. Out of order. Right. No, I don't up there. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no! Ooh, hello. Can I avoid you? Okay. 
Go, go! Run and hide. Okay, all right, we'll do. Huh. Use the pipe! Oh, that, no, those were, those were the latter things. Go! Someone's singing, right? To lure him away? That's weird. Low on health! Grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations when you're low on health. You'll need to eat! Locate hidden food stashes throughout the studio. Well, I'm assuming that is this, then. Oh, yo! Yo, bacon soup! Mm. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps patch you up. But the aftertaste... It's not so good. <laughs> Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible that, place? That yeah, who are you? I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so Get be your careful. lingo correct. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Okay. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Okay. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. Can, can we be it's friends? safer there. Can we hang out? Can I come with yeah, you? Right? You can't. <laughs> no! <laughs> I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Excuse me? A uh, wolf? Like Boris? I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's in gonna just stick you me? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. <laughs> he likes to smile! <laughs> Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. Not very fond of it. Ha. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Da da da! <laughs> she pulled a Batman. So that's one of a number of Alice's, which is why they, oh they call me an Alice. I don't like it. So she's adopting the fact that there are multiple of them, and that she was someone else, but she eventually became this other identity. Um, the wolf, I'm assuming, is a reference to Boris. And, you know, I, I just wish people would be more forthcoming with information instead of like, hey, watch out, you know, like, I can't, I can't let you come with me. Like, give me a, a decent reason or, you know, a little bit more information about how to, you, you know, hopefully you'll figure it out if you survive. Why don't you help me a little bit? By the way, she's like, lesson one, let me teach you about searchers. But instead of, you know, forget that though. Like, I'd love lesson one to be like, how should I survive? Like, really? What, what should I be worried about here, friendo? Weapon, perhaps? She looked like a, a survival person uh, fit for survival here. Ooh, we got a bunch of options. Let's, let's read some more first. Your best pal. Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble, and that's just foolish. You gotta wait, listen, and when the time's right, push forward. Your best pal. Is that to me? Your best pal. Oh. I'm gonna open this. Hmm. Why would I be able to shut that door? Something's gonna chase me, isn't it? Nothing in the box. Hello. Nothing there. Ooh. Wait, here, before we go that way. What's this way? Anything good? Aha! New lore! A new terror has descended into our lives. The man named Wilson. Ever since our world ever since our world feels strained, like a great beast held in chains. The Ink Demon hasn't been seen in a long time. Many of us ref I was gonna say, are these coming from the Ink Demon, but apparently not. Ink Demon has hasn't been seen in a long time. Many of us refuse to believe that he's really gone, but what does it matter? Down here we're all sinners. Children of the machine all have the demon in our inky blood. Okay. Ooh, there's stuff down here too. Mm. 
so many options. I'm ready to go. Let's start. And is there anything across? Looks like they might be able to play across there. Before we go too far ahead, though, just curious. This is going to be funny. Hello. Oh, wow, we can just go down and down and down. And up. Down, up, that other door. So many options. It's like an open world bendy game. Here we go. Very quiet. I don't intend on starting now. I got my corner, my little sip and canteen, and I do get fine. Double quota. <laughs> I ain't even done half in months. Here, I'm, I'm actually gonna. Can I. How do I. Here, is there a. Here we go. Hey, a double quote of that Mr. Flynn says, Ha, double! Why, I haven't even pulled a full day's work in that old toy assembly line in some four years, and I don't intend on starting now. I got my corner, my little sipping canteen, and I do just fine, double quota. Ha! I ain't even done in half a month. Half in months. Oh, but they won't fire me, no sir. Place this big, no one knows what everyone else is doing. <laughs> so I'll turn up my radio, put up my feet, and count the holes in my socks. Five o'clock comes easy around here. <laughs> Buddy. You were right. That was so much better. <laughs> I made the right call there. Yeah. I like that this is the episode of, like, MatPat doing voices. Is there anything in this? Huh. I feel like something's there, but I, I can't really make it out. Again, probably important for the lore. I'll need to do it later. Should I keep going down or should I go into that other place? That other place. Oh, okay, so this looped us around. So this opened up a shortcut, basically. Okay, I feel better about that then. So now, good, my gut instinct was right that the other way was rushing forward. So let's do that. <laughs> oh, buddy. It's just me. Oh, is there something else? Oh, I can hide in the wall? That's a cool place. I don't know. Cool hiding spot. It's me, old crotchety miner. Coming through. Hello. She kind of struts. Right? She got it. She's working that runway. Also, my eyes are just glowing. Right? Look at that. Mm. <laughs> gonna, gonna practice my runway walk? Mm, 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 mm. Sissy that walk. <laughs> Tyra Banks on America's Next Top Model would be very proud of this runway walk. I'm just saying. RuPaul. <laughs> Judge me. Uh, okay, there's Bendy. Watching from a distance. See, when you crouch, you go a little bit slower and you're lower to the ground. F fun fact. Collected slugs. Oh, wow, there's a lot of hiding in this game. Slugs? I, I believe slugs as in, like, little pieces of metal. Oh, that's disappointing. Ooh, okay, security lock. So we're going to find something of her that we're going to need. So keep an eye out for any codes. Where's the toy man? Wow, there's a lot of places to hide. It's like, <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. I can hide in this small little, but nothing will see me here in this small, very ventilated box. It's fine. You know what? I'm curious, Matt. Yeah. I'm wondering how, like, what the time frame is for, like, how long you can stay in a place before having something attack you. Because I'm wondering if this is, like, a... makes it more difficult or frantic to find lore. Ooh, that's... Yeah, so that's deep. Corporation voice kind of strange. Here, I'm gonna read. Again, please, I, please. I don't know why they're... I don't know why they're so quiet. Yeah, so those gent corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they're, they've put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Last week, they built some kind of electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyway? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. This ain't Fort Knox. You know what I mean? Now it's back to my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers. No freaking thank you. I'm just going to record the co door code right here so I don't forget it. 
451. And if Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, says Dale Little. 451. There it is. Courtesy of Dale. Good old Dale. Dale. Letting us know how it be. Spin. Four. It's like an escape room. Five. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was expecting it to go to nine. Four, five, one. There it is. Do, 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 do. Hello. Can I use a paintbrush? Ooh. Food. I don't want to eat it yet, though, because I don't need it. Gent parts. Okay. Heavenly toys. Oh. Ooh, hello. He sees everything. Does he now? <laughs> All it feels like somebody's watching me. It seems that Arch Gate Studios. All right, all right, Mr. Wilson. It seems that Arch Gate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey Drew that they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning. When the delivery boys dropped one of their crates, it smashed open. And inside, there was something truly special. See, I, I've got to gesticulate like Alice Angel did earlier. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful, be blue, beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I... I could tell that this crude device held the secrets, secrets that could be mine. And scene, thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> snaps, snaps. Oh, yes. <laughs> Poetic. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, okay, we're getting an idea of who Wilson is as just a, a, a guy who existed. Turn around! Turn around. Every now and then. I... Oh. oh, wait, that's me. Oh my god, it's my shadow. Hello. I was expecting a jump scare. <laughs> oh. Ha! Ah! I see. Psst. Smart. Turn around. Gameplay. Oh, hello. Man, everyone keeps shutting doors on me. Hey. Excuse me, is this a shortcut? I'm gonna unlock this later. Please let me in. Can I, can I jump down the ladder? Apparently not. I must climb. Great. Hiding spot. Random barrel hiding spot. Locker access, factory access. All right. Fire it off. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Maybe back up here. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> just, I was told to go to higher ground by a complete stranger, so I'm just taking her advice without asking any questions. It's fine. I'm all good here. Found some keys. Don't mind me. Just rummaging through everyone's locker. It's fine. This is all totally okay and normal. Don't mind me. Well, maybe they should have put combination locks on it if they didn't want their <laughs> stuff stolen. And then kept it all in... Ooh, what is this? <laughs> what? Miss thing. <laughs> what? Excuse me. Excuse me, Audrey. <laughs> I don't know anything about this world. Where am I right now? What is going on? Oh, here's a vial of something. Gee! <laughs> what? You know, she's she's confident, and I like that about her. <laughs> that escalated quickly. That <laughs> is the definition of committing to the bit. She did. She, you know... She understood the assignment. <laughs> Guess I didn't know there was an assignment. Right? <laughs> inspect. Okay. I'm sorry. The prompt said inspect, not ram hand through glass. She got the syllabus early. <laughs> right? <laughs> she looked at it. She snuck a peek on the test. <laughs> uh, okay. Health. Permanently upgrade your maximum health or permanently upgrade your maximum stamina. I do like stamina. I do I do be liking stamina. Bendy stuffed toy. Boris the Wolf Jigsaw Puzzle. Edgar's Duck Duck. 
Bendy's Starface stuffed toy one. Bendy Starface stuffed toy discontinued. So I'll put, huh? Bendy Starface stuffed toy. That's interesting. That's gonna be important for the lore at some point, I suspect. Okay, what else we got? Caution, maintenance, keep out. Hello. I mean, I can move you, but give, give me one sec. Last time I last time I interacted with something, you, she jammed her hand through it, so I'm not quite prepared. Just in case she has other crazy ideas in store. Hello. Hello, anyone? Hello. This feels suspicious. Hmm. I worry that the time has passed to bring this up, but I sat back and it troubled me so deeply. <laughs> it troubled me. Uh huh. What's that? What troubled you? So. We have an inventory, right? Uh-huh. Why do you need the lockers if you can fit a million things in your pockets? <laughs> I mean... That's not necessary. The, what, the lockers in yes. general? For yes. everyone else? These are everyone else's lockers. Well, can we assume that... Do we assume that Audrey could hold this much before she went into, um, Land of Ink? <laughs> you're, you're saying... <laughs> like, was she always like this, or is this a feature of the land? This is... <laughs> it's a great question. She just, you know, not everyone is blessed with really deep pockets like, like Audrey is. You know? I mean, the way they're manufacturing them these days. I, mm. This was before the days where they, sh they artificially shortened women's pockets. Oh. Yeah, this is the day when women had did pockets. They? Really? Was that... What? When did they start doing it? Was it truly, like, after 71? Oh, Ash, let me tell you... Sto I have stories to tell you. Oh, excellent. Oh, you and I... We'll, we'll dive deep into the world of pockets and the history of pockets at some point. Sweet. Yes, it'll be very exciting for everyone in the area. Animation Alley, here we go. Caution, keep closed. Hello. I like that I'm collecting all these presumably uh, like crafting parts, and yet it's leading to nothing right now. Oh! Geez. Great. great. <laughs> then he just walked. He's like, okay, my work here is done. He's cute. I'm, I'm good. He's cute. <laughs> I'm going to jump scare you, and then I'm just going to leave. We're all we're all good here. Uh, save game. Let's save it, just, just to be sure. There we go. Animation department employee left. It's like... This door is unlocked. I will let you walk through it. No problem, but let me jump scare you first. It's fine. We're all good here. Little Devil Lounge. Daily buffet, 89 cents, Ah, oh. Man, inflation's really hitting us hard. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew, and you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. <laughs> grand, expensive. My company, family, always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Vens, I'm able to provide the delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and shout out, my friends. Wow. What a very modern work environment. Providing meals for everyone? That's amazing. Today's menu. Soup du jour, bacon soup again. Cold food. Um, cheese sandwich with sprouts. Excellent. Chef's specialty. Ami bourguignon with potatoes and greens. Plates left sold out. Good luck in Rio. Andre will miss you. Love the kitchen staff. No outside food. All right. 15 cents. Not a bad deal right there. Ah. Uh, nowadays it would cost like 14 bucks. <laughs> uh, before we go in there, because again, that seems like the path forward. Okay, that's locked. But there's lore in there. I see it sparkling. Arr, you matey. I have feelings. I'm slightly angry. Okay, what do we got down here? What do we got? Anything down here? Nope. This seems suspiciously open at the bottom. Nothing exciting there. Information department. Hello. The hiding box. Inkwell, patented delivery system. Okay. Carefully position your ink collection method beneath the flow nozzle. Do not remove your ink collection method until ink has completely ceased to flow. Clean the nozzle weekly to prevent blockage. Ignore any voices coming from the pipe. <laughs> Slowly pour any excess ink into the drainage pan. Huh. So you would think then that this is ignore the voices coming from the pipe. So that seems to indicate that, hey, uh, there are people on the other end of this that are either being transformed into ink or... The ink is being like extracted from. 
Animation Alley this way. That looks like a breakable wall if, wall if I've ever seen one. That's not, that's not an open wall. Another hiding spot. Hello everyone, anyone here? It's very quiet. I will say, it's a very, very chill place right now. This is getting old. <laughs> Did my key? Did my key just break into the lock? Oh, jeez. Break the lock. <laughs> well, like, Audrey, oh, just man. stick your entire hand into the padlock. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's all I you need to do. See, that happens at level 2 stamina. <laughs> She's able to do uh, that at level 2 stamina. Yeah, we're Here. only at level 1. Yeah. Upgrade I'm ready for some. I'm ready. I forget what Nathan Arch's voice sounded like. And I can't play it, so never mind. I'm ready oh. for something different in my career. There it is. I've built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say, he's got the magic touch. <laughs> so I'm going to go into animation. <laughs> bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. The masses, the unwashed oh, masses, and I. Open a studio. Now I love a good film as much as anyone. But the magic of animation. Now there's something special. My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. See, he's bringing them back to life. He's resurrecting the past. A small cash investment. Just, a small just, loan. Just a small loan of a million dollars. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, okay, what do we got in here? Hello, anything? Ooh, sandals. Oh, gent tool kit. I'm collecting a bunch of stuff. I'm very excited to put this stuff to use. More slugs. Hudson Doyle. Management's, management has come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying out bonuses or overtime, they've started handing out these little tokens that you spend in company vending machines. Uh, it's a company, it's a, it's a company town. Uh, besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like that idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fool the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now, I can't remember the last time that I've seen a real token around here. Them slugs is everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of money and snacks alone. Good. Charge them. Ch charge them. <laughs> Make them pay. Make them suffer. Batteries too. Found a lot of a lot of batteries. This is good. I'm always I'm always in need of new batteries. Always low on the battery game. So that is that is that's even more exciting than the slugs. I gotta say, battery. Battery. Can I can I take this pipe for my protection? Would love, would, would just love some level of protection. I'm, you know, just, just something. I know you're out there. Please answer me. What? No. No. You, I wasn't good enough for you to want to hang out with earlier. Why am I answering you now? Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, yeah, Alan, sure. You look real I concerned. You and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. I don't trust this. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. Hello. Hello. What was that? There's something in here. Oh no. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Uh oh. Find I, I I did find a pipe earlier. It was also kind of what What? Oh geez, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. What is that little is that creature? Pipe? He's like a little frog. Like little... Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, little man. Can I hide in that box? Can I hide in this box? Here. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bite your ankles! Ah! Why do you look like that? Get ready, I'm gonna bite you! <laughs> He's just hopping. <laughs> he just, he'd just be hopping. Have I sufficiently hid? Is he gone now? He bit me once or twice. I'm like, okay, we're good. And he's gone. All right. And, and threat over. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm team. Aren't I a little rascal? Cool. Well, the thing is that just like it gave 
the energy of like having no thoughts just leaping <laughs> <laughs> that really got me you know sometimes just thirst for ink or whatever he was trying to <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming it's, it's somewhere here. I'm gonna come back over here because it seems like the forward progress of the story is over there. So let's let's explore the little food nook for a little bit. Ooh, what we get? Oh, nice. My bendy bar and a sandwich. Got a sandwich. Can I break open this? Okay, so clearly, clearly, I need a pipe of some form in order to uh, break open all these walls that I'm seeing. So I'm very excited about that. Cause there are lots of secret walls around. Tasty treats. Some more food over here. Ooh. Catchy. Cool. Dream supply. Buy for five. <laughs> Buy the vending machine. What am I buying? More ink? Bye. Yes? Root beer. Oh, I, oh no, I spent my slugs and I just got some chocolate nuts. <laughs> I didn't want chocolate nuts. <laughs> I was not ready for chocolate nuts. No one is. <laughs> few are. The few, the proud, those who are ready for chocolate nuts. <laughs> Man, if I could have spent my slugs <laughs> anywhere else, I would have. <laughs> Found a better case of chocolate. Oh, man. Hello. It's down here. Also, there's so much free food around, and of course, I spent my money. Darn it! I spent my money on the one thing that's, like, so plentiful around here. Can you get my change? Sometimes you just, sometimes you just don't want chocolate nuts, you know? Well, that's locked. So this, this was a little pointless side endeavor, wasn't it? I'm gonna eat this, because it's here. Crispy crackers. No thanks, I'm all full on my chocolate nuts. A little devil lounge. Okay. Hmm. Oh, another donut. I like that some of the donuts are edible, but most of them are not. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Find the gent pipe. All right, where's, where's the gent pipe? Because I think that's going to unlock a bunch of things for us here. Now we just got to find it. Here's, here's the thing. It's, it's a safe. Hmm. Maybe if I dig around in my infinite pockets. Ooh. That's not great. Oh no. Demon follower. There's the gent pipe. <laughs> oh, good eye. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Do we? Let's just make a run for it. Restore power. Atrium supply, okay. Okay, so I'm not allowed to open that yet until I restore power. So, let's do that thing. Connect the wires using your body as a human conduit for the electricity. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Okay, oh no! Stealth! Oh no! Not stealth! Uh, the best way to avoid trouble is not being seen. Remain crouched to stay low. Keep your footsteps from being heard. I'm very good at staying crouched, as we learned earlier in this video. Uh, watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide or get away quickly. Okay. The next person I see, I'm going to rip them apart. Just wait and see. <laughs> it's just like, I've got anger issues and I don't know how to properly express my emotions. Shh. He won't see me. He's distracted in the corner. Nailed it. Here, let me save. I felt like a save moment. Did you see that expert gameplay there? Yeah. If anyone is a pro with crouching, it is me. I can eat some, uh, some more crackers. I'm gonna save it for the chocolatey nuts though. Thank you very much. And down and up. Candles. 
Atrium. A fuse. Let's see if I can find one. <laughs> find the fuse. <laughs> Great. Just, just a big old fetch quest. No. Yeah, this this truly has been like mostly fetch quest. <laughs> well, they you know they they heard a lot of complaints about the combat in the first game, and they're like, you know what? We could fix it. Or. Cool. <laughs> See, again, there's those anger issues I was talking about. We could fix it, or we could just cut it out entirely and just make the entire thing stealth. So that way we don't have to deal with it. I have a lot of batteries. Does that count? There's a big bendy face over there that seems to, like, be indicating the direction I should be headed, right? Was that a fuse, though? That looks like it might be a fuse. Grab it. Gent battery. Oh, hello. Here's this guy. So kind of doing his walk. Hooty hoo. What's this glowy thing? Hey, bud. Will you do me a favor and just break the lock and save me like three fetch quests worth of work? That would be great. Thank you. I'm assuming. That it's telling me to go here. Are you leading me to where? Okay, there. Wow. The fuse. Wait, what? What? Oh, oh, jeez. Hey, Wh where did you come from? Can I hide? Can I hide? Great. <laughs> Excellent. Wait, is this locked? The bendy faces were leading me here! I feel betrayed! Hmm. Right? The bendy faces are leading me here. Hmm. Well, darn it. Gosh, diggity. Well, fooey. Well, I might as well eat a donut while I'm here. I like Not how it's all, like, the same, like, chocolate donuts that were on her desk. Right! I'm like, oh, cool. At least they went with her, you know. Oh. Kitchen's closed. Oh, well, now it's open. I need to stealth. Next person I see, I'm gonna rip them apart. Man, all these, all these lost ones have a lot of anger issues, and they don't know how to, like, really properly channel their emotions. I feel like BetterHelp, it's, uh, these are good clients for BetterHelp. Hashtag not spawn. Do you think they have BetterHelp in the ink realm? Oh, sure, why not? Ink people. I don't believe in you. Leave me alone. I don't believe in you. Hello. Which way are you going? I'm just gonna sneak around this table. Here. Shh. He'll never see me. Let's try this. Nope. No. Oh, nope. That was lucky. Uh, that was that was called skill ash. Mm. Uh, excuse me. So sorry. Oh my gosh. Are you what are you doing here, bud? <laughs> no! Don't go around the table again. <laughs> okay. Okay, you you just do your thing, bud. Excuse me. I, I feel like your range of sight is much more limited than I'm giving you credit for. So I'm just gonna saunter over here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Great. Stealth gameplay for the win. Well, good work. Successfully stealth. Can I get a frying pan or literally anything to protect myself? No, apparently not. All right, great. So happy about that. Wait, I hear someone. Are they coming? Ooh. Crafting. Gent supplies. Very excited. I, I will say, I'm very, very hyped to get a pipe. Happy birthday to me. Okay, bot, got the fuse. Happy birthday to me. Okay, full charge. Oh, oh, hello. Is anyone listening back there? No! No, certainly not. Where, where you at, bud? Are you, are you walking away? Peek. Just gonna. Oh. 
Don't mind me. What are, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I have rage! He's making choices. He I is. will say he's, that much. He's, he's committing to the bit. Uh, yes. He's commenting on the space around him right now. Oh my gosh, an artist. He is. He, he's an artist. It's like, I'm making choices! I'm glad that they at least have performance arts um, in this ink realm. Ink, ink people need art too, you know? Yeah. Which... In fact, maybe they need art more than the rest of us. <laughs> that might be their, their solution if they don't have therapy. Shoot. Well, I did want to speed this along just a slightly, so hopefully he doesn't kill me or something. Because that would be unfortunate. Here, I'm gonna. I'm, oh, oh, well, this guy's here. Well, this guy's here too now, so. Oh, well, I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna. Oh, well, this is where I die, friend. I, I may have gotten a little bit aggressive in my gameplay. Hide, hide in the box. No way! <laughs> I could spend the next 15 minutes sneaking around these two very slow moving uh, enemies, or I could just sprint for it and hide in the very obvious box right in front of their faces. Two options! I decided to go with the latter. Oh, <laughs> there he is! Yay! Shoot. Oh man. Crouch, 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 crouch! There we go. Great. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> oh, there we go. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. All right, let's get the gent pipe, shall we? I feel like that's a good place to to wrap up today is getting that gent pipe. <laughs> just don't die, Matt. Here, I'll save it just in case. Uh. <laughs> Okay, let's let's be super stealthy, stealthy boys. Okay, we're gonna get low, get low to the ground. Okay, there he is. Mm, I love slowly waiting while enemies move around me in the vicinity. Which, which way are you going, bud? Which way are you going? This way? Going this way? Great. Peripheral vision is not your strength. See you in the periphery. Okay, so now we can go through here. Hello. Just gonna shut this. Gonna, gonna shut this. There we go. At the end of every. What do you got? At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. <laughs> Mr. Cohen brought me into the catalog and secured some Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. Sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll just be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact. Can't believe I just said that. pretty good right yeah it was it was beautiful I mean I mean I understand that they had a limited voice acting budget but they could have just hired me to do literally all the roles I think they should have because you could do you have their bendy voice I, I do I have the bendy voice I have the bendy voice and clearly I have every other character represented as well uh anything in here no uh the the mailman no. The machine. The machine. There it is. The mailman <laughs> must endure. <laughs> must must he now? The machine. Mailman, machine, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. All right. <laughs> the mailman must endure. There's another snack, if in case I need it. That's useful. That's the horror game I want to see. The mailman? Yeah, the mailman. Beware the mailman. <laughs> He's coming to deliver you some pain. <laughs> Package accepted. Uh, Estimated delivery. <laughs> it's a release day here. Your sign on the dot. Do you accept this package? Bam! <laughs> We're playing with fire, no question about it. 
First gent comes in here and they put thick heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must weigh a ton. Then Joey opens up the place for tours to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was given a tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded thinking it was part of the show. I know Joey's looking to drum up some cash lately, but this, this is just asking for disaster to strike. One good accident and there's going to be a landslide of trouble, says Hudson Doyle. In case uh, my expert voice acting did not indicate to you what character that was meant to be. Uh, hello. 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 The dark puddles are calling. But they're calling collect. Okay. Gent toolkit. Gent battery. And can I, let's take this out of the dead body, shall we? Just, just rip it out. Just... Get old Yankee. Yankee, Yankee. Yank. now I can defend myself. Icky. Hey! A weapon of many uses! You're all in one tool for surviving many dangers. The gent pipe has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press to attack enemies and break objects. Great. Yeah! And now we are talking. I feel like that is a good breaking point right there. So we know we got to use the motivational posters, that there's a secret behind them. And we know that now there's a bunch of breakable walls, and also now we can we can stop sneaking around and just get up in people's faces and be. Hey, wait a minute! What's that behind my head? Oh. I just I just looked up for the first time, really, uh, away from the game and looking at my mom. Where's Chris? Why is head editor Dan back there? <laughs> head editor Dan. He said it was a gift to you. Is it now? It's your birthday. R removing removing Chris from oversight and instead replacing him to my special <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh, to my special guy. Oh, Dan, I love it and cherish it and, and we'll forever think of you. So Two rooms over. We need to get like another frame so we can have both Dan and Chris. Yeah, I was going to say, we just <laughs> get rid of all the fan art and instead just like line it with our own employees. <laughs> Random, random faces staring back at us. They love you too, to my special guy. No, I think who's the best them. boss? You are <laughs> amazing. Oh, you wacky guys. So anyway, I'm glad that I realized this before the end of the, the episode. Uh, so anyway, uh, more Bendy in the Dark revival coming soon. Uh, hopefully, hopefully a little bit more action. It, it was slow. I, here's the thing. I think it's beautiful. I think I think it like visually it looks really nice. Uh, it runs really nice. I'm intrigued by where it's going. I also don't know how long it is. I'm expecting this to be short, but I, I have nothing to judge that off of. Um, I am very curious where it's headed. It seems like we're only just getting started. It just said chapter one, so I'm sure there are people on YouTube who've already beaten it like three hours after it's been up. So you know, there it is. Um, but yeah, well, I guess we'll see where it's headed to from here, friends. Um, I do think that there's probably going to be some uh, some good amount of lore here to theorize about. You can already see, like, the repeated cycles. Who's Audrey? Who's Wilson? Like, I, I see where all of this is starting to line up. So we'll just have to kind of take it from there. But uh, in the meantime, my friends, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you to Dan for his picture overlooking me and watching uh, and protecting me this entire time. And uh, watch out for any people named Audrey shoving their hand into your stomach to try and absorb your stamina. Mm.